Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the new upgrade to the sculpting tools, and this is uh, dynamic topology, and it is super powerful. So if you happen to know somebody who's an illustrator or a sculptor or something like that, and you know, you've seen these type of sculpting programs before, please let them know about this, because the upgrade is very significant relative to the old uh, version. In fact, I don't use the old version very much because it just really wasn't up to task as far as I was concerned. So go into sculpt mode here and one of the things you can do is when you're in here you can just press the F button and you can change your brush size like this. I'll just I'll just keep it big for now by pressing F. So there's my brush size and I have it set up here. You just click up here, left click here and you can get all your types of brushes. All right, These, are, these have existed. I'm going to use this. I think it comes up with the F brush right here. But I'm going to use this blob brush like this here. And But before I do, I'm going to come down here to this tab down here on topology. It's, it'll be closed up like that. And I'm going to press this enable dynamic. And it'll, your detail size will be up here around 30, I think something like this and I'll just use the default and this is just a flat plane there's no subdivision in the plane so this tool is really cool because what it does it'll it's subdividing on the fly for you depending upon your viewport resolution and you'll see what I mean and I'm just gonna take and draw with this you'll see it here in a second it'll show up we'll do this half arc like this I mean it's a really powerful tool now so it's basically subdividing the mesh for me so instead of me going into say the multi-resolution modifier like if, if you've seen my uh, playlist on modifiers where you create multiple versions in this case you're just using this version as, you, as you're going and you're making this nice mesh and let me zoom in that the real beauty of this is like I said it's relative to your view so now I'm zoomed in here and y you can see all these subdivisions like this and I'll just start painting right in here and so now what it's doing it's kind of taking a more local approach and it's subdividing just this area locally now we've always been able to do similar stuff like that with say a proportional editing you could go in and you could grab a section of an of a mesh with the circle and you could subdivide you know a region and then you could keep you know modeling like that but this is just building it on the fly in fact if you start looking out you can see it's there and it leaves this like this and the great thing about that is you're only you're not increasing the resolution of all of these portions of the mesh so you're keeping your your resolution or your memory down and then we'll come in and we'll zoom in even more just to this little chunk here and I'll just draw say across here like this alright then I'm gonna leave here and go into edit mode just for a second by pressing tab and then you can see how the mesh is really heavily subdivided here less so here and back down to the base mesh down here it's much less so so it's r I mean it's really really powerful the one thing to watch out for is when you go into edit mode like that and if I tab back into sculpt mode here if you go down here my it actually turns my enable dynamic off so I have to turn it back on alright all right, so now there's one other thing let's look at this is just great for getting started if like I said if you know somebody's an illustrator pass this on please because they're gonna dig this kind of stuff I'm quite sure of it so this detail size here I'm gonna crank this down to give it more resolution instead you think it might be the other way but it's down so now I'm gonna paint in here with the same style brush and you'll see how much smoother it is in here like this right very very nice I mean very powerful I mean, I really can't say enough about this upgrade in version 2.66. It's just crucial to Blender these days. All right, so let's look at it in edit mode. And look at that detail. Nice, all right? So just, all, just with those two tools, and then you can experiment with all the different brushes up in here that you want to work with. There's some really cool ones you can just play around. Some work, some don't. But that kind of gives you a pretty good idea to get started. And really, the like I said, the advantage is that you're saving the, you know, you don't have to subdivide all this if you're just trying to get detail in this area like that. All right? All right, well, that should give you a pretty good idea, and I'll see you in the next lesson.